Let's imagine a situation. A conflict in the store. The buyer says that there is a product in his receipt that he did not purchase. At the same time, he does not have a receipt with him, he does not remember the exact time of purchase, and the only thing he can tell is which goods were exactly bought by him. Previously, you would have had to look through a fairly significant part of the archive to find the fragment we need. But since version 3.5, Iacotes has added support for receiving messages from Post. Now it's enough for you to view the transaction log by camera and sort the receipts if necessary to quickly find the right transaction and see from the records whether there was a product or not. You can set several filters at once and upload only those transactions that may be relevant to the situation. Additionally, the interface has the ability to monitor the messages received in real-time in the interface of the client application by pressing a new button. The text display parameters can be changed for greater ease of use. The new parameters will be applied to the next received message. How do I set up this integration? Firstly, I should inform you that this integration requires an additional license called Post Terminal Integration Modules, and the number of licenses should correspond to the number of terminals that you want to connect. Secondly, connection is possible only according to the scheme one to one or one to many. One post terminal per one camera. Yes, you can connect multiple cameras to one terminal, but only one terminal can be connected to the camera. In order to enable integration, we need to go to the Automation section and select the Integrations tab, where a new settings element is waiting for us. Activate it and go to the settings. Here we need to specify the IP address and data port of the terminal. If necessary, you can change the message coding settings if your terminal works only with a specific one. This is already enough to receive messages in real time, but in order to allow the system to divide the text stream into separate transactions and save each transaction separately, we need to additionally set the beginning and the end of the transaction on the processing of receipts tab. Just specify some keywords or combinations of characters that indicate the beginning and the end of the receipt like welcome and have a nice day. And the connection setup from your Cortex site is ready. You can immediately check the correctness of the connection using the connect button. If it gives you an error, it means that something is wrong with the settings. For example, the network port is specified incorrectly. If you want to carry out some reactions to a certain lines of the receipt, for example, the sale of tobacco, alcohol, or other types of goods that must be controlled, you can configure an automation script with the necessary actions and parameters by the type of event named line from post terminal receipt. Technically, this integration allows you to receive data not only from POS, but also from ATMs, payment terminals, and other devices capable of sending text information when using. That's all I wanted to tell you about the integration with POS at the moment, but that's not all I wanted to tell you about the updates to version 3.5, so I recommend watching the rest of the videos on the topic. Stay tuned!